Hello everyone, it's Simon Woods, and as you know, I've been thinking, and that can be dangerous. You know, recently everyone in my neighborhood has been putting up their American flags for the 4th of July. While that's all great and wonderful, I put up my American flag, and then I put up my pride flag right beside it, because guess what? I am a happy, openly transgendered person. And all of a sudden, I became a pariah. Oh my god, the gay flag is right beside the fucking American flag. It's the end of the world. You know, my neighbors used to pay me to do work for them, and now they won't even talk to me. They just keep walking away. Now, before you say anything about Christian rights, guess what? They knew I was transgender before I put the flag out, which means that they're just not comfortable with me being so out loud about it. That's not okay. Okay? Just not fucking okay. That is the craziest shit I've ever had to deal with in my life. If you know about me, and you know me, you should be okay with the fact that I am who I am. And it's just so fucking crazy that they automatically go, Oh God, the fucking pride flag's out. It's the end of the fucking universe. Don't talk to this person. Don't talk to this person. Don't talk to this person. Oh God. That is insane. And then today, we have a couple of people who came in to uh, take care of a leak that was happening in my lovely basement. I was getting rained on because apparently the person who owned this house prior to my best friend did not fucking take good care of it. There was a giant leak. We have shit all over the place. And my bed is no longer usable. Now, these two guys who came in to do the work saw this button and I'm not exactly sure if they know what the button meant and then they looked at my shirt which dark matter 2525 thanks for the awesome gear um, but they saw it they saw the shirt and they go well this person's strange and then I started watching cult of dusty Aaron Roth Thunderfoot and bionic dance and it was the end of the fucking universe they automatically started talking over me, giving me orders, not listening to me because, I'm sorry, I live here, I'm the one who's dealing with my shit getting rained on, how dare you fucking just, what? I don't get it. I mean, you're supposed to come in here as a professional, be non-judgmental and go, oh hey, here's what your fucking problem is. But no, they decided to talk over me and treat me like garbage and walk all over me tell me what to do what not to do because I have this button I have this beautiful shirt and I'm listening to my fellow atheists I'm sorry that's fucking ridiculous if you are so afraid of being challenged then don't start fights simple as that if you're gonna sit there and go well, atheism is wrong, and no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to debate that. I'm going to question it. I'm going to challenge it. Because that's what we do. We question, and that's why we are no longer Christians, or we are no longer this, or we are no longer that. It's because we questioned, and... I have to go back to the old golden maxim of your frickin' faith and go, Judge not lest ye be judged. Why can't you get that through your f thick frickin' skulls? Okay? Or love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Get it in your head, Jesus frickin' said that. Or, or, ooh, my favorite one. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You've all sinned. You were born sinners according to your faith. So go ahead, throw stones. Throw them. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of anyone. Okay? And if you go, well, you're wearing a mask to hide your identity. I work in a professional field in a state which will definitely destroy me for being who I am. And while you go, oh, well, that's all well and good. Fuck you. I don't have to put up with the bullshit. This country was based on rights which we all should have. 
Okay? So I have the freedom to not believe. I have the freedom to be an atheist. Okay? And in my pursuit of happiness, I have every right to be transgender. So before you go off spouting biblical crap or telling me this, that, or the other, think a little bit. Because this country was founded for those who had no religious standing in their home countries. Okay? Think of, oh wait, do you even know who the Quakers were? Or the Shakers? Or, oh wait, you don't? They're related to the Mennonites and the Amish, and I bet you all of you think that the Mennonites and the Amish are fucking batshit insane. But guess what? What? They're actually getting your fucking Bible right. They're not just sitting there cherry-picking the good parts from the bad parts and not taking it all, okay? I have to admire them for what they do and who they are. And though we may not see eye to eye, they do a pretty damn good job of holding up to a faith which everyone so claims that they are. Get over it. Minorities came here because they needed a place to go. Because they weren't welcomed or they wanted a new chance and a new life. And none of you can say otherwise. None of you. So while you're sitting there trying to debate me and act like you know everything, why don't you just think? Study the rules. Study the way this country was founded. And understand that people like me aren't so different. Like I said in my previous video, we of the LGBTQ community, we do not bleed green. We are not aliens. We don't have acid. We're just people. So, figure it out. Because I'm really sick of the bullshit. And there is no way in hell this country should support that. Especially with all of its constitutional rights. Think about it. And as always, the door to discussion is open.